Hello and welcome, my name is Anjo Sokos and I work as a professional musical director and pianist around the London area, also a bass player actually. And uh, I'm going to be reviewing the OYAYO foldable piano. I think it's OYAYO. Um, there's multiple ways, maybe you could say it. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing that today. Uh, I'll show you around the piano, I'll show you how it comes, and then um, I'll give you some sound tests through its own speakers, and then some sound tests um, actually going through uh, a direct input as well. So you should get a full review. It's only going to be about 10 minutes, just so it's very clean and precise and I'll cover as much as possible. But basically my thoughts are actually for the money. Uh, this one's about 220 pounds in the UK. Um, and you can get like discounts off as well on Amazon. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, I've reviewed a lot of folding pianos and this is easily the best one by a long way and one that I'm actually gonna end up recommending to people. So if that's something you think you may be interested, please carry on watching. So as, as you know, I'm not particularly keen on unboxing videos but um, I'm going to at least show you what comes in the box. So you get this lovely carry case which fits the piano perfectly. Um, amazingly, with this piano you actually do get a music rest as well, which fits beautifully on top of the piano, which is fantastic. And then straight away you're presented with the actual keyboard itself. Um, you also get two additional parts, as expected. Um, you'll get your pedal and you'll also get your power supply. Now, you don't actually need the power supply, because this piano runs on an internal battery as well. So I've already charged this piano up, so I'm not gonna use the power supply today. Um, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the piano out and I'll show you around it. It's very, very light. As in like, it's light enough that there's not really any point me saying to you the weight um, because it is so light. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what's on the back of the piano. So. On the back of the piano, you have your DC, you've got your USB, you've then got your line in, which would be for putting something external into it to use through its own speakers. Um, you've got your headphones, which will be a headphone monitor for yourself, but also you can use that as a line out, which I'm gonna do today to go into a um, audio interface. You can add a mic into it, you can put the sustain pedal into it, and then you've got the triple pedal unit that's an option for the final part there. It actually looks like a MIDI uh, port, but I'm assuming it's a triple pedal unit because there's a picture of three pedals next to it. And so I'm gonna use a table stand to put this on so it's like extra secure. Uh, the fold out mechanism is very, very, oh, I've just realized something. There's um, a headphone port on the front as well. There, isn't that good, fantastic. Um, okay, let's open it out. It's really, really easy to open out. And when you want to shut it, um, there's a button which says open, ironically, which actually closes it. Hmm. Okay, so there we have the piano. So initially, uh, actually, you know what? Let's plug it in just to be safe, just in case it runs out of battery whilst we're recording. Uh, so the power supply is only about a metre long. Uh, so you will need a power close to you so you're able to use that and then it turns on immediately which is absolutely super so you just hold the button and away you go lovely okay then we're also going to connect up the sustain pedal too oh it's already working lovely and the sustain pedal works really well okay now um about the piano itself, uh, let's see what it's got. So I'm just going to lean over and switch cameras here, just to give you a bit of an idea. Okay, so in the piano itself, this is what the screen looks like. Excuse the, it's a bit wobbly, won't be like this for long. And you've got the volume button, you've got the power button, tone for changing the sounds, the demo button for showing what the piano can do, rhythm, which is quite cool, which gives you a variety of options. You've got metronome and then record. Uh, just because of the shaky camera, I won't hold this for long. That's not me shaking, it's just inherently like this when you use it through OBS. Uh, so you've got the timbre, you've got the metronome, you've got the grand piano and the volume. Doing this dial will change it. And then you can press tone to change to your sounds. And there's loads of them. I think it's 127, 128 sounds. Let's see, 127 uh, and 128. Oh, yep. And then the rhythm. The only thing is when you press rhythm, puts on a rhythm immediately, which it would be nice to be able to select rhythm 
dial through the different ones and then maybe press this button to go. This button's also click as well. You can do absolute tons with this. And so if I just click it now, uh, where are we? Oh yes, here we go. So you, once you've clicked it, you can then cycle through. Oh, yeah, look, you can, you can. There you go. You can cycle through them. Okay, amazing. And then you've got all these different options that you can do. Very cool, indeed. Amazing. Okay, so today I'm going to show you that, oh, you can transpose it as well, which is great. And you can do that, set the mic volume too. So today I'm going to give you a little sample of some of the sounds. And then also I'm going to put it through the internal parts. Okay, let's swap our cameras back. Cool. Okay, so let's see what it's going to sound like through its own speakers. Uh, just in case you're interested, music rest can go like that. Okay, so here's the grand piano sound. Pretty cool. And it is touch weighted as well. So as you press and responsive, so I can go soft to loud, which is really cool. Uh, and also the keys are a proper size piano key. And also the keys relate exactly to uh, the spacing on a real piano as well, which is great. Not only are they the right size, but they are the right spacing. So I could quite comfortably practice on this. And then there's a nice electric piano. I'm going to just pick, a, you know, a very small selection of the sounds. Remember, this is going through its own speakers at the moment. So you can basically see what they're like. When you put the rhythm on. Uh, again, it's cool that when you press rhythm, it comes on immediately. It's just a little bit of messing about with it uh, to be able to set the right rhythm that you want. You can also set a metronome for practice. And with the metronome, <laughs> you can also change the uh, amount of beats in the bar and you can change the time, the key signature, the time signature, uh, and also with the metronome as well, as soon as you press it, it engages and then you can change the tempo to be higher or lower, which is a good practice tool for anybody. I'd say this piano actually is good enough for needing to use on the fly for a musician who needs to like maybe rehearse a choir or something like that. Uh, and also if you could need to go out busking just for fun, uh, busking with a, a community group. It wouldn't be comparable to some of the more well-known brands that are a lot more expensive that take batteries. Uh, however, it is very, very good for its price range. Uh, excellent, actually. And it is also one that I would personally use um, to go out and do things like that. Let's have a listen to some of its internal sounds uh, through being um, plugged in. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a mini jack and then on the other end I have uh, t that goes out to a left and right uh, in uh, jack leads, quarter inch jacks which goes straight into my mixer. So let's swap everything over now. So we're going through the mixer. Oh actually, you know what, just before we do, let's have a quick listen to um, its key noise. I've never ever ever, 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 known a piano with so little key noise as this. Ever. If you compare it to my Roland. So this would be amazing, a flat. That is just phenomenal. Okay, right, let's swap over to our audio interface. Okay, so as soon as we swap over into the audio interface and we've put something now in the headphone port, the piano speakers uh, inherently don't sound, which is just what we want to happen. So let's have a listen to that uh, grand piano sound again. Uh, 
I've now got a lot more control. It feels much more responsive going immediately through the headphone port. So the keys just seem to now be doing exactly the right thing as you'd expect. And also then when you use it as a MIDI device, it's very, very successful because you've got a big scope of the touch weighting on this, uh, on this piano. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the grand piano sound, electric piano sound, and then I'll maybe look for like some kind of string pad, and I'm gonna do it with my mic now disabled so you can only hear the piano. So you can hear a few of those runs there. Um, it didn't. It didn't quite make. But I think that might actually be harder for a full-time pianist like myself, because I'm so used to weighted actions. This is obviously weighted, but it is lighter than the normal weighting, and it's not escapement and things. So um, it's not something that would actually be a problem. It's just something I'd need to get used to, and then it'd be fine. Yeah, let's have a look at a few more sounds. So with the Hammond organ, it's quite nice because although an organ inherently, you just press it and you get one volume, on here, the Hammond organ actually, um, well, all the organs on it actually follow the touch responsiveness. Well, it's just got really bright outside. Follow the touch responsiveness. But this, the sounds are great. And it's got like a, a waterfall feeling keyboard because the keys I've got the mic on now because the keys don't make too much noise um, it's amazing so basically that's my review of it and there's so so many sounds uh, to choose from it's pretty much impossible to go through them all if um, there's more sounds you'd like to know about please let me know in the comments I could always do a review of all the sounds uh, let's just finish with a little uh, kind of review of the rhythm mixed with the tone and uh, kind of play you out to that. So my favourite sound in here is the electric piano one, so I will use that.
okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon for another one thank you